I think. Okay, my the the recording is okay. Ah. Oh. We can. Yep. We can. We can. We can. <laughs> we can. <laughs> wow. Gum glitched. <laughs> wow. No, ain't that right? Yay! Mm. He right. went into the back <laughs> rooms. All right, I'm starting the podcast in three. Yay! Two, Omg! Two. Just a sec. Yay! There Just is, a... there is no sex, Kingly. It's already happening. Oh! Don't you see it? The moment we all came together, the podcast started. <laughs> oh, the humanity! This, all right. This. This is our existence, Kingly. You know what? Daylight savings time doesn't wait for you, Kingly. So we can't wait for yeah. you either. <laughs> Just <fine>. Okay. <laughs> it can't be three o'clock forever. <laughs> three o'clock. Oh, man. I don't know when where it's 1035 right now. <laughs> nah, it's actually 935 worldwide. It's going to be eight soon. Wait, no, we go four. Uh, okay. We go four. We, we... I see. Do we go backwards sometimes? <laughs> Do we go backwards? I think so. What is time? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's all I care about. <laughs> yeah, we got okay. that extra hour of sleep. That's what, I, that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> that's what I've been waiting for. That's what I'm talking about. All right, all right. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. It's time to duel. It's it's it is it is it is. Get out, Togo! I'm so glad that stopped. I messed up. Beautiful. It is. I didn't go up far up. That's what he said. Ignore this part of the podcast. It's it's that time. It's. It's D35. Because it's Friday night. It's, it's, and the feeling's right. It's D30. And it's and I'm here with Jet Beats Little Boy. Hey, yo, no. I'm here with King Lee of False Ohio. propaganda. I'm here yes. with Togo of Togo Town. Pogito. Howdy. And, and me. If you don't know who I am, that's okay. And the Gums Meister, the oh. one, the only Gums. Gumster. It's like that, uh, that SpongeBob <laughs> episode where like Squidward comes out and they're like, he's like, "Hey, <laughs> what the fuck? What, what the? You know what I mean? Hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. And this is the show. Of course. The uh, the twelfth episode. Of Art House Rocks the World. Let's oh, go. Yeah. yeah. They love me. Let's rock that world. <laughs> oh, okay. They don't. <laughs> um. But yeah, th- this is the day. This is the, the 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 recording before the the finale. The the one we we've all been waiting for and dreading. <laughs> You know what happens? You know what happens after the podcast? What happens in the podcast stays in the podcast. We don't exist. Yeah, death. Yep. But the but the fact that the podcast exists means we live forever. Forever young. Forever. I wanna be forever young. Wait, yes. guys, don't sing it too much. This is on YouTube, remember? No. Hurry. Togo copyright. Togo, Togo copyrights me more than anything else. We forever see. young. <laughs> We're no strangers to love. Oh, yes. You know the rules. And uh, so and do, do I. Do I. This recording <laughs> is... Uh, everything we're doing today is on November 1st. So today is... The, the no nut get november. rick rolled <laughs> oh yeah the no nut november if you have a coupon <laughs> no. then you free from that no no coupons your coupons expire there's coupons your no coup- no no they no there's new ones every year <laughs> i just gotta get the plug no more plugs only ascending 
<laughs> if you're I, I decided I decide to go I for the safe. no shave November instead. <laughs> There's oh, oh. like down there. Nice. That's no, for up here. <laughs> I finally grew a beard for once. I have a beard, Kingly. Did you know that? Ooh. I don't know. You never showed your face. People like Ooh. people oddly like commenting on it because they like how it looks. It. It if you ever you ever watch it's I my beard is like similar to uh that that Mihawk guy from One Piss if you if you know who he is <laughs> yeah I, I, I yeah my uh, One yeah my piss. beard <laughs> right now because I'm just starting to grow it out it looks kind of hideous. So right now I kind of like look like one of those internet neck beards, oh, no. and oh, I'm no. waiting for it to get past that. <laughs> you can shave your neck. No, no, I got my you neck shaved, do... but it's it's kind of scraggly. I'm patchy grower. Kingly, Kingly, you gotta get rid of it. We can't let you exist on the podcast like that. Sorry, I am having a st- bro. <laughs> you know what, Togo? On my end, you, you sound like you're having a robotic malfunction. Yeah. So it's all fine. Okay. I am. I don't believe. No, 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 yeah, not what, November what must be hitting you hard, huh, Togo? <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the time we Stop. talked about. <laughs> Togo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you, Togo. <laughs> you think? You think if we f- like a little yeah. refresh? Oh. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know if we should. You know what? Just listen to our to our prior podcast. Our prior yes. podcast. My favorite one will always be the waifu one. Don't listen to it to it now yeah. because if you do, I you will not. You will bust a load so hard that <laughs> you won't be able to draw for three weeks. And if you're a girl, trust me. Trust me. It, it'll get a lot worse for you. You you'll you'll you'll, you'll you only feel, listen to it if you're strong enough. Yeah, if you're strong <laughs> enough. Yes. Damn, gum out here really testing everybody on November first. And, and if you're some kind of in between, I'm that, but a little bit of this kind of person, y- you will feel that same emotion, but it'll be like a swirl of genders flowing inside you, almost like a like a like a liquid of sorts. You'll feel um, what's what's another word for gender? You'll feel a sex <laughs> liquid filling inside you you don't know what you'll be <laughs> at the end of the day that is what happens when you listen to our house rocks the world can you'll i get a can i get a what become what? J- gender i'm still trying to process if it was like a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> that you were trying to describe like was it an erotic sensation that it's supposed to excite them or watch and find out watch is it kind of like oh there we go <laughs> Yeah, yeah, watch okay, and find out. There we go. You'll have to restart okay. this whole podcast now. <laughs> yeah. Just so DJ playback. Find out. <laughs> Rewind it, DJ. <laughs> and you know what? If 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 you find out my hidden messages that I drop in between this podcast, the first one to figure out gets a free commission. What? Oh yeah. So you have encrypted messages around this podcast? Yes. That wasn't in the contract. No, they're just for me. It's 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 it's. it's Neither was, it was I. He just gives print. me Starbucks. No, we don't have a contract. We're, you're just a couple <laughs> of people I found on the streets. Oh my god! Like the yeah. office, like freaking Dwight when he picks up, like and he's trying to pick mm. up um a helper around the office. I was a computer in the garbage. <laughs> Yes, our origin stories. Yes. 
I, I had to rebuild Togo new. Find out more in season two. In oh season crap, that was two. a spoiler. After you buy our season pass. <laughs> <gasps> our season battle pass. <laughs> yes. LMAO. <laughs> LMAO. L Party -A Rock is in the house tonight. I, I will say, I have done a funny, funny thing. Nani? It isn't one of our podcasts unless I announce some new injury I've done to myself this week. Oh no. What happened? I caught like a muscle strain or pull right under my shoulder blade. And I actually couldn't even sleep till 3 a.m. last Ouch. night. <laughs> oh. Dang. Yeah, and it was like extreme. I, it, like every time I would like press my back against something or even just shift my shoulder, I would actually kick my breath away. I was like oh, intense. Oh, Still kind of feeling it today, but it's better. Jesus, did you like lift something heavy or? Um, I was fixing our car. Like a, a couple of days ago, but I'm not sure if that caused it. Oh, damn. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, hope, it had hope to... you feel better. He hope it feels better. Car. I lifted the car. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, you might not be too far fetched. I did kind of lift the car because we were fixing tires and we we're putting fresh fix flat in. I want to let oh, some damn. pressure off the car. Damn. Don't worry, it's like. It wasn't like a big, big car, but it was like uh, like a, those little scions. It's like a toaster on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I know which ones you are talking about. Yeah. It, King Lee was using 1% of his power, but God had to nerf him. It, it was a warning shot. He shot me with a, a spectral arrow in the shoulder. Ah, Good. damn. Good. Exactly. Yep. I'm banning you. Oh man. <laughs> this is your own family time this week, go. JJ. What's up? <laughs> That's like the fifth time this week, JJ. I, I I'm banning you again. Now that's against the contract. <laughs> <laughs> there is no contract. He just English promised just me a full-time collection of CO pets. Hostile work environment. You're just trying to get some of that workers' comp. I am forming a u union. Against oh. who? <laughs> Against the contract? You. Me? Oh, You yes. think you can stop me? Oh, yes. <laughs> I've... I've lived for <laughs> two centuries. Ome wa. Mo Shindaru. No. You. <laughs> Left him breathless. Heck. <laughs> there's a there's a funny meme where it's like Joseph Joestar, and it's he's like next you'll say Omae wo Shindaru. Mo Shindaru. And then. <laughs> The guy says it, but then he says nunny, and then he dies, and then, I don't know who <laughs> dies. I thought the it was universe says the North Star. I die. <laughs> you are a shark. I am shark. Nunny. Is that it, Chuck? Oh, yeah. Everyone, uh, a PSA. I actually started rewatching JoJo. Ooh. Oh, nice! Were you watching the JoJo? JoJo. Seventy-two. Fun. Yep. Oh, Seventy-two long hours. Me. This oh. time in more than just one four four p. <sighs> nice. <laughs> For a little background on that, I tried uh, showing Togo JoJo. But it was in the worst quality <laughs> because we watched it on Amino. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is terrible. LMAO. You know what? Amino has been long since dead. But oddly enough, I'll, 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 I'll like dust it off, 
I'll see what's happening, and then after that, I'll like never come back on for like five years or something. Yep. But sometimes you will True. catch me post a, hey, I updated my webcomic or I uploaded a video, but that's it. And those those people that I didn't like that did that, I've become. I'm I'm no longer yeah. interacting with the community of Amino because I don't think there is one at this point. You became the thing you swore to destroy. I became <laughs> That's how it ends up. That's how that's how we all end up. Okay. Yeah. It'd be like that. I, w I went on Amino the other day and I was actually using it to try to find some stuff to make an icon out of. And yeah, I actually got locked out of it, and it gave me 404 forbidden. What? <laughs> yeah. I 105. Out of How deep were you in the app, Damn. Kingly? <laughs> uh, Did you just find my the secret old files? comic maker chat. Just an old comic maker's chat. You know what? <laughs> it's... it's t it, it, it. Should we... T should we tell scary tales from the from the artist corner? Oh, I I will like when I'm like so Ooh. as an artist, we've all met a fair share of spooky things on the internet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's time we all yep. gather around the, by the campfire and describe what. Wish we've seen. I could unsee. Mm, same. Indeed. Who would like to go first? <laughs> Let's go around right. the campfire and sing our campfire song. song. R -C, R C A M P F R E S O N G song. If <laughs> you think you can do it any faster than you. Imagine people trying to sing when there's a delay. Sing along. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom. 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 C A M P F I R S O N G song or C A M P F I R S O N G song. If you think you can't sing it faster, then you're wrong. But oh, hop it if you just sing along. Or C M P F I R S O N G song. Kingly. Unz. You forgot the E. Good. <laughs> Jack. Oh, 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 see It'll help. It'll help if you just sing along. That's, like, that's the rock version. Okay, yes. as you were saying, King Lee. <laughs> Give us a scary story. Uh, it doesn't even have to be he, he, art related. We want if it's internet <laughs> art related, it okay it counts. Okay, I'll tell you a story. If an artist who drew and he kept on drawing, and the next day he kept on drawing, and guess what he did the next day. He what? He kept on drawing. Oh. And you know what happened the next day? Oh, oh God. He he kept on drawing. Hmm. And you know what happened about a year later? Oh, God, what happened? He stopped drawing. You know why? Why? No. He developed carpal tunnel. Take care of your hands. <laughs> this is an ad. I hate ads. <laughs> no. If your hands be hurting, take care of them. Give them breaks. Give them rest. 95. <laughs> This has been a kingly PSA. <laughs> there actually is a story that I know that would probably take about 15 minutes to tell, and the ending is pointless. <laughs> and it's a it's a story that you tell while you're in line at like an amusement park. <laughs> All right, kingly. Well, we're in line to we're in line to get this over with. So give yes, give it to us. Someone oh, what a coincidence. To. Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> we're in an amusement I park? I am in line for amusement park. Alright, since we're in line at the amusement park, 
I got cotton I'll candy. I'll tell this. Got cotton candy? Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. I think we lost a jet. I got popcorn. You got popcorn. Yeah, you know what happened. Uh, sorry, folks. At jet. Home. Jet had, uh. Unfortunately, after the Campfire Song Song and King Lee's Scary Story, Jet had to be. She had a fucking. We had to mute her. She was. She she's still screaming. Yeah, that that was. That is definitely what is happening. Right that now. that. No. Yep, that's that's exactly what happened to Jet. Jet just got too excited from the campfire song. It was actually like how scary that. Oh yeah. Was that King we said that <laughs> my character said no. We're not listening to the rest of this. I told we you, Kingly. <laughs> in other news, <laughs> in other news, tell your true and very okay really happening story. Okay, so I got told this in the middle of physics class because I guess at the end of the year, physics class has no, nothing better to do. So he was talking about how he, he got in line with uh, another person, and it was a really long line, like Move. it would take a while. Yeah, yeah, it'd take a while. So he's like, all right, I got a story to tell you. All right. And he's, and he's like, okay, tell your story. And he's like, okay. It all starts on a dark and stormy night because, you know, they all start in dark and stormy nights. First. There was a man driving down the road. Um, it's, the rain is pouring and he's just trying to, trying to find the next available place. But he's like out in the country. He's not sure where he could go next. And before he knows it, lightning strikes right in front of him, causing him to come off the road and he crashes his car into a ditch. He gets up out of his car. Kogo, Ak. Yes. And he is, he has no way to get his car serviced. So in desperate hope, he goes and walks down the road. And walking down the road, he finally sees a house. Like, and as he approaches it, he notices the house is pink. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he goes up to the door. It has pink steps, pink railings. There's pink flamingos in the yard. Um, he knocks with the pink knocker on the pink door. And opening the door is this lady who's in a pink robe. And she's like, hey, how can I help you? What's going on? And he just explains to her how his car wrecked in. He's might need to use the phone, and she's telling him, oh, "I'm sorry, but the but the phone man's supposed to come tomorrow. My line is down at the moment because of the storm. I mean, tomorrow you can give your call. You're welcome to stay tonight if you need to. I just need." He's like, "Sure, I guess I'll stay tonight. So get out of this weather." And she's like, "Great." All you gotta do is just go up to the stairs, up to the first door on the left. Alright, and as he walks in, into the hallway, he sees that there's pictures of Elvis in pink suits. Uh, the the knickknacks, they're pink. Yet, yet again, to another set of pink stairs, he walks up to the first door, and he enters there. And he sees in the room is a pink bed with pink curtains, pink table side, and he just goes to sleep. Now back outside, another person is driving by as fast as he can in the rain, trying to rush home. Mm-hmm. 
and the rain is quite blinding. His wipers are running at full speed, zipping by, and then something catches his eye. He sees a car in a ditch. Ooh. And when he wasn't looking, he almost hit oncoming traffic, and he skids off to the road and he hits a telephone pole. Okay. And he he now is out of a ride and now has to walk down the road to see if he finds anyone. Lo and behold, there is a home there. A pink home. Hmm? Next to a pink little garage. As he walks up the pink little steps and rings the pink little doorbell. The door opens to a lady who is now... Uh, has a pink face mask as she's ready to head to bed slightly more annoyed it's like he's like do you have a phone I can use and she says no I do not have a phone but the technician will come tomorrow yeah. you're welcome to stay tonight and he's like, all right, fine, I'll stay the night. And she's like, all right, just go down to the second door down the left. He's like, and so he, as he shuts the pink door behind him and takes his shoes off as he walks across the pink carpet. And walking by the pink framed pictures of her children up the stairs to the second door on the left which is a pink door and he walks in and he sees that out laying around is pink towels uh, pink chairs he doesn't take he needs to take a shower so he goes and takes a shower in the pink shower room and then heads to bed and outside yet again on the same dark and stormy night, this this man's walking by, well, riding by. He sees one car in a ditch, one car and a telephone pole. And he's like, oh, "How would they get their car stuck? That's so crazy!" And as he's saying that, his engine sputters, and he looks down into. To his fuel gauge and realize he's out of gas. He curses himself, kicks the tire of his car, and walks down to see if he can find anyone with a phone. And long and behold, he sees a pink house. So oh. this pink house, as he walks up yet these pink set of stairs and opens this pink screen door and and knocks right on the pink door itself. The lady opens by and she's saying, Jeez, how many more people are going to come to my house in the middle of the night? And he's like, I'm sorry, I just need to use the phone real quick. All right, my phone, like I told the other two, my phone is out for the night. You can, uh, when it's back in service tomorrow, you can give your call. Would you like to stay a night to get out of the weather? And he agrees, He's like, yeah, I'll, ju I'll just stay tonight. Alright, and you just go down to the third door. Down on the left, upstairs. Alright. He says to her, he walks down, takes his coat, hangs it on the pink coat rack. Walking by, he glances into the living room that was encrusted with, like, pink memorabilia. Pink little gnomes in the corner. And mm -hmm. up the stairs you go to the third door on the left. And he's just realizing here too everything is pink. Pink blankets, pink pillows, pink pictures. E even in the pictures, it's pictures of pink flamingos. It unnerves him a little bit, but he just takes... Takes just uh, gets himself ready to bed and goes to bed. But
But mm-hmm. luckily, the next day comes. No more middle of the night shenanigans. And the first man comes down. He's like, oh, <laughs> and sees that she's she's that the owner of the house is like uh, cooking breakfast. Mm-hmm. And he smells pancakes and he's like, oh, are you cooking? No, cooking something? Oh, yeah, I'm just uh, cooking some breakfast. Um, I can make you some eggs and bacon if you'd like. He's like, sure, yeah. All right. And she goes to the fridge, grabs the pink eggs and breaks them open and cooks them on her pink skillet and cook takes her pink strips of bacon and the next man comes down and he's like oh that smells really good and I have some of that too and she's like oh sure I'll just make you some of this if that's cool with you and he's like oh of course um, I could eat a cow <laughs> and as he said that he noticed outside the window was a pink cow walking along the fence a pink fence And she cooks, she goes ahead, opens her pink refrigerator, grabbing eggs and bacon, and cooks more for him, and sets that down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's enjoying himself with the pink silverware and the pink plates that they've been all laid out onto the pink tabletop. Mm-hmm. And then the last guy comes down, and he's like, Oh, do you- and she asks, oh, would you also like any eggs and bacon? And he tells her, no, ma'am. Um, if it's okay, I'd rather have cereal if it's good. And she's like, oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, just help yourself to... And she points to the cupboard, which happens to be pink, in the pink refrigerator. And he pours himself some pink cereal out of a pink box into a pink bowl. And eats with this pink milk and you know what the moral of the story is what what is two out of three americans prefer eggs and bacon <laughs> kingly <laughs> i'm glad you're on my my story server oh hi because you, you need the help <laughs> <laughs> I can't. This was... I know what on a scale from one to even, I can't. I can't. I am <laughs> flabbergasted. I hate you. I hate you. I'm over here it's thinking beautiful. like, oh, maybe she cut up the first dude and took them and gave it to the third dude or something. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he was gonna glance at the kitchen and see everything pink, but then there's like red spots, and he's like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind." <laughs> Keep in mind, this was uh, originally the person who originally told me this story. He's saying he told it in a line, and by the time he was ending the story, everybody in line went and groaned, like, "Oh, come on!" <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, everybody else was listening into it. LMAO. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna kill you. That was... <laughs> that was something else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jess, do you have any scary stories from real life that really happened? That from real life that really happened? I'm over here thinking King Lewis. Um... We talking about pedos? Oh, okay. Well, uh, wow. Well, <laughs> well, Damn. Well, uh, okay. Wow. 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 It's, it's kind of a. Uh, this is kind of. Hey, you said real life and scary <laughs> stories, so that's pretty scary. One hundred eighty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there you go. I didn't even need to say anything. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the shortest story compared to King Lee's long story. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. Ooh, tell us, oh. tell us. <sighs> Baby sale. Shoes worn. Not boss baby. 
No, wait, no, Togo, that's 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 disgusting. What happened? Wait, I said that one wrong. Ah <laughs> uh ha! -huh. Baby shoes never worn. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Hot damn. <laughs> baby shoes never won. Wait, are we damn. talking about the baby shoes? That's that's really sad though. <laughs> that's a short that's the shortest sad story I've ever heard Toto. <laughs> All right, Gum. How about you? Uh, you got any scary stories that happen in real life? You know, I could tell them about the the, the K man. Oh, the oh! I don't know if we're ready for that. I could, I could somewhat, I could somewhat do it in like a metaphorical way. Okay. Oh. Yeah. What's the last number I said? Nine? 105. <laughs> oh. Okay, so, uh, me and Jet, we, we, we met on, uh, we met on, a. Uh, I thought I heard someone outside. Oh, you can tell it's scary. Uh, me and Jet, we met on a, on a art app. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say that. We we met on the art app. That's only meant for art, nothing else. Only art, uh, because anything else is somewhat is either video game related, fandom related. It, but honestly, it's all about the art. So yeah, we went there, you know, chit chat, and and we meet this guy. We'll call him. We'll call him Shinji. So yeah, you know Shinji becomes friends with me, Jet. You know, fucking what do you call it? Prickle. You know the guy from episode three. Uh, what was episode three called? No one say anything. I'll I'll kill you. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Shinji knew me, Jet, uh, Prick from. Our House Rocks World episode three, Gum messes up today's podcast where I subsequently used the wrong microphone. In which case, there was a massive delay. But don't pay attention to that. It is our least watched episode for a reason. Anyways, and you back. So Shinji is talking to us. You know, we're all friends. We're all buddy buddies. You know, all this shit. You know, eventually, you know. Now you see, Shinji was a bizarre little man. Truly, the world's oddest man. Whenever we had, whenever Shinji wanted to talk to us, he had to hide in a closet so no one could hear him. Oh, yes, especially his mom because Shinji was. Let's just say Shinji needed a fucking grow up. I'm smelling my arm. It smells good right now. So yeah, and anyways, we're all friends with Shinji. Shinji gets a big head. He tries to control all the art, the the, the art community. We it ends up being a little cringy, so we all just leave. We we just let Shinji roll with it, for, and then we all bounce. And then and then I find the Avengers, and I essentially assemble them, and and then we all just chill. That's it. And then Shinji finds out. He gets pissed. He wants us dead. You know, he he tries to humiliate us, saying, "Hey guys, let's let's help him out. Let's send our own people over there." And you know, they send DC over to to fucking fuck us up. But in, in the end of the day, nothing really happened. You know. Anyways, DC and Marvel. We we that's basically what happens. I'm I'm Marvel. They're DC right now. Like like bad DC. Like 
not good DC like good like the Dark Knight. I'm talking bad like Justice League got approved by God. Not God. Got approved by Hollywood bad. Oh, oh man. So yeah. That is pretty bad. Shinji's doing whatever he wants. We're doing whatever he wants. He still has a hit list on us. And my computer's being goofy right now. So yeah, Shinji... At the end of the day, sh- sh- we stop giving a fuck about him. He stops giving a fuck about us. You know, we're all split. Mm-hmm. We're divided. He gets his own family. In a way, it's kind of like Berserk, you know. It's the second band of Hawks. And then, mm-hmm. now you know. And, then, and at the end of the day, Shinji got fucked up and then had to make a new a new DC brand. He, I'm pretty sure there's something in the middle between Marvel and DC. And that's essentially what Shinji is right now. It's... The moral of the story is Shinji was very scary. Only because he believed in... You know what? It's, It's not a religion thing. It's just... You know what? I don't even want to say it. Shinji was pretty spooky. That's all I'm gonna say. And to the people that know the context of what I'm saying... Yeah. Also, Shinji... I don't know if it's... Shinji, I don't know if you're watching this, but Shinji, if you are... Why? Don't comment, just say why. (laughs) Also, there was an... There was also an episode where Shinji said the N-word, and... Our 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 future interviewer friend Nico, someone we'll interview in the future, she, she she told us that Shinji ended up taking that down, and I'm like, dang, that's so messed up. He knows. Yeah. Shinji, Shinji knows. Or YouTube. He knew. Or YouTube's like, hey, you said a naughty word. In any case, that word be naughty. In any case, it's in the oh, lost man. files now. It's in the lost files now. Shinji is now banned by the world itself, but it's okay. He he has he he's he's doing the same thing we're doing. It's fine. Anyways, my folks are home. Be right back. Uh, Togo, tell your scary story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the exit. Kogo, I already did. <laughs> yeah. How are you? <laughs> so random. <laughs> At least I'm not telling the pink story again. Yeah, let's not let's, let's not go through <laughs> that again. <laughs> like, so there was this orange lady that had this orange house and this orange <laughs> house. <laughs> mm-hmm. I yeah, could have made no, it more no. obvious, ominous, making it red, but pink sounds not fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was. I, I immediately thought of like the freaking Barbie house, like Togo did. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember if I used to be unaware, obsessed. With they showed that. these horrifying pictures of Barbie persons. <laughs> <laughs> the Barbie girl. Oh my god. Crazy. Ah, jeez. Hello. I'm back. I'm sorry for it. <sighs> he has returned. Well, the Messiah did you has Marathon? come back to us. Uh. Right. No, you know what? Fuck it. I'll tell a happy story. D- disregard my Shinji story. So, Yay. Okay. So, I. So, plot twist I'm an artist with real friends. What? That's preposterous. What? I know. I that can't away. be true. I gave away the best part of the story. Oh, we'll go. oh my god, no it way. is not even like the podcast season finale. Um, so, th- these are just basically old f- co-workers I've worked with. But, <laughs> something funny. Mm-hmm. Oh, sh- something happened. Oh my god. Come on. Something funny happened recently. Not recently, but here's a co-worker story. So every Thursday we go out, get wings, Drake, 
joke. It's all goofs. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. the the greatest time I'll always remember. Actually, no, they're all great times, but half the time I'm fucking dying of laughter, and I fucking hate it. And it's all because of this man. We'll call him. We'll cur- we'll call him for Fernando. Okay. So, Fernando. 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 Que quieres tu? Fernando. So yeah, Fernando's uh, uh basically. Basically, Fernando's a very fucking funny ass dude, and I can't stand him. So yeah, we're eating wings, you know. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. He says the funniest joke ever. I, it's so funny I can't even say it, cause we will get banned again. So Fernando tells this funny ass joke. I barely remember it, and I'm dying just right there. I'm in, in my wing, <laughs> and he's like. <laughs> He's like, dude, why are you even laughing, dude? It's not that funny, man. And and then the waitress comes in, and I'm in, and I'm like trying to compose myself in front of her because she's like, "How is everything today?" And I'm like, at the worst fucking time, I'm still dying. And then Fernando exit on. He's like, "Hey, can you get him some milk? His his wings are too spicy." <laughs> I didn't have spicy wings, and it sucks. And then the waitress walks up to me. She's like, "Oh, are you okay? Do you want me to get you some milk?" And I'm fucking pissed now. I'm still dying of laughter, and now it still <laughs> goes on. My face is all red. I, I, I just, I'm still laughing. I'm hitting the table. It hurts. And he's like, "Yeah, just give this guy like a, <laughs> like, a like another drink or something." And I'm just pissed because I can't say shit because I'm still dying. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. And, and then she looks at my wings and is like, oh, are you okay? It's like, here, I'll take this. And then Fernando's like, yeah, could you also take like his sauce to go? Like, what the fuck? Like, so the next thing you know, at the end of the fucking, she gives me, she gets me my drink and <laughs> she gives me back the ranch <laughs> in a little to-go cup. And I'm like, I, I'm still dying. I can't. I can't. I spent like a good 15 fucking minutes dying of laughter. The the moral of the story is don't have friends because they'll fucking kill you. <laughs> oh, yeah. What was the joke? Oh. The joke? Honestly, yeah. I can't remember. Wait, wait. If you're dying that much, you will never be able to retell it how they, you feel it. It's in the moment. It was in the moment. Forever yeah. a mystery. Forever a mystery. Yeah. That's the true. That's the true. That's what the point of the mask there, is. Th- 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 there was a time with my friends when we were playing uh, D&D. And a friend of mine was like playing as like a 10 year old kid. Like uh, mm-hmm. trying 39. to be like. <laughs> yeah, and Bingo. it was like in this campaign where they needed to break into like a village of bandits. Mm-hmm. And I guess the kid just kind of ran up and, and and she was like, it smells like cheese. And the guard's huh? like, what? It <laughs> smells like cheese. And he's like, what the heck? And so the guard comes out to investigate, and he looks down in a hole, and he's like, what? What about the cheese? And the kid just says, I can't. I'm lactose and toddler ants. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody, and then he kicks the guy into the hole, because they're, they're just kidnapping all the guards and stuff. <laughs> and because of that, I decided to let someone's illusion because they ask if I could make a toddler ant. Mm-hmm. And it's like a body of an ant, but the top portion is a baby. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so horrifying. And they and they, and they sold the illusion so well that they cleared out an entire bandit camp and burned it down to the ground. Damn. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yeah, and then they went to the main bandit camp, which started a war in the game. And they managed to turn the they managed to evolve the to- the toddler ants into toddler wasp. 
that were on yeah. fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's like yes. scary, Kimmy. That's like plot <laughs> twist after Pogo. plot twist. Damn. Yes, I, I'm. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be cre creating an actual stat block for this. So if anyone's curious, definitely let me know. <laughs> <laughs> for anyone who runs D and D, I got you covered. <laughs> nice. Togo. Heck, Wyria. Tell us Yay. a scary story. No. Please. <laughs> this sounded so earnest. I don't have any at the moment. I know, right? We're just like, no. <laughs> that is fair. Please. <laughs> Let me tell you a story of how my world got all flipped upside down. Okay. And I'd like to take a minute and just sit right there and tell you how we can turn to the upper town go a bit later. Oh my gosh, Jet, you like to take all the fucking things I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be quick. Let me. No, you're just a bully. Okay, you know, let, let me tell you... Oh. Oh? Oh? Go ahead, What, what were you going to say? Okay. I was just going to stay with my story. So, it's not scary, but it's a little sad. So, it was a story of a dad. So, he has, like, a son and his wife, and they all love each other very much. But the dad, he's a musician, so he likes to go to different, like, places and built up his rep so um he was doing a tour at the moment and so when he got out from singing he was driving his way on his way back home and there was a snowstorm and the snowstorm was super super bad like super super bad that he really couldn't see so then when he took a turn the car it didn't really like listen to him it slipped and he fell off the cliff, sadly, and he died. But his son was outside making a snowman. And then once he like he put his um he put like his scarf, he wrapped his scarf around the snowman, he put the nose <gasps> and his I know mom this. This is went <laughs> I know this. <laughs> His mom went outside and she was like, hey, that kind of looks like your dad, but it's getting cold outside and it's getting late, so we should probably go back in. So they went in, but what happened? That in the middle of the night, there was like a little snowstorm around the snowman, only around the snowman, there was like a little snowstorm, okay? So... After that, it was morning, the kid, he gets out of his uh, house and he goes to, he goes to school. So then he's playing outside and whatever. And the dad actually is reincarnated as the snowman. So he gains consciousness <laughs> and he goes to look for his son. He goes to the school. And he sees that his son is getting into dangerous activities. So then he goes to stop the kid, to stop his son from doing the dangerous activities. But the son is freaked out because it's a snowman that came to life. <laughs> so the snowman... <laughs> I know what you're telling, and I'm just gonna let you... <laughs> You wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna take a stab at what I'm saying, what story I'm saying, can you? <laughs> Dude, I forgot the name of it, but I know full heartedly. I remember the picture of that snowman's face perma blasted my mind. <laughs> Are you dumb? Do you wanna take a stab? 
Oh, uh, what story, it, Young Sally? Is it Jack Frost? Yeah, it's Jack Frost. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Jack Frost. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, it was Jack Frost. Coco, LNL. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I, yeah, I, the moment I heard that dad die, and then the boy made a snowman, I was like, it's Jack Frost. But without knowing <laughs> <any> anything. <laughs> 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 Honestly, that was such a great movie. <laughs> it is a really good movie, though. If anyone yeah. hasn't seen it, you've done yourself a disservice. It was really <laughs> Yeah, you should mm-hmm. definitely watch it. Especially around Christmas time. You know. Oh, yeah. Feels right. It's still November. Yeah, no, I'm just preparing for the holidays. It's no nut November, not no nice movies November. Oh, dang. You kind of right. <laughs> Got me there. <laughs> so how did you guys like the movie? Did you, did you, I mean, like my story? Did, oh. did you guys like my story? <laughs> Oh yeah, it, it, reminds- it, it feels like the time where I went to cl- went to class in the first grade, and I told them the plot to Titanic because it was so amazing to me. <laughs> and somebody was like, "Wait, that's a Titanic." <laughs> <laughs> I seen that movie. I'm like, "Damn, they know." <laughs> and they're cultured. Yep. Mm-hmm. Did you tell them about the boob scene? Uh, <laughs> no, it would be awkward because I actually had to sign it because I was in a deaf school. I was signing <laughs> out my story too. Whoa! Dude, yeah. I'm sorry. I just laughed because I just I could just imagine just you know like groping the ear. <laughs> I, uh, actually, yes. you know what? I have a I have a childhood story. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> fucking do tell. There was like so it was my first uh, fucking uh. What do you call it? Book report? Like book what are those called? Book reports? Book reports? Yeah. Book report? Yeah, book reports. Okay. I, I don't know. That's that oddly doesn't sound like the right thing to say. Anyways. We're doing book reports and you know, I didn't have one ready, so I I, I you know, I told my mom not to make me go and you know, it it worked. And next mm-hmm. thing you know, one oh nine. So next thing you know, like it's a two-day thing. So I dropped my figurine. Um. So the first day, you know, it was like a massacre. All these kids were dying. A lot of them said they didn't do it, but it's but they did do it. They just don't want to do public speaking, and it's scary mm-hmm. as hell. Anyways, one of the people. One of, I do remember. I don't remember a lot of them, but I do remember who this specific one. Um. <laughs> So this guy, right? This this kid, he, he he uh, he does a book report, and he's and he and he's he fucking he fucking what was it? I need to look. It up. <laughs> so he does this whole book report. You know, he's got this whole thing in the background, and then fucking. He's like, hello, uh, today I'm going to tell you about the book I've read. <laughs> and I felt like it's not his fault that this happened. So anyways, he's telling the book. He's like, set in the 80s. He's like, alright, so the book I read is called <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> <laughs> it's set in 1960s during the Cold War. It follows the CIA operative Alex Mason as he attempts to recall certain memories of combat to locate the number of stations. The station is due to transmit broadcasts to sleeper agents, instructing them to deploy chemical weapons across the United States. Mason and the CIA operative Jason Hudson are the, are the main characters, as well as the Red Army soldiers Victor Reznov and locations featured such as Cuba, Laos, Vietnam, Soviet Union, United States, Hong Kong, Arctic Circle. (laughs) That's amazing. So, you know, (laughs) the player controls this. And fucking one teacher goes, wait, 
is this a book? She's like, oh, he's like, he's like, what's the author? And the guy goes, Activision. <laughs> oh my god. And then they send his ass to like the, to the fucking office or something for acting out. And I'm like, this dude was it acting out. He's, he just didn't know. There's probably a Call of Duty Black Ops manga comic or whatever out there, but like, still, shit, that was funny. Bro, that's amazing. <laughs> he was elected. And I'll never forget this day. I never, I've never done a book report in my life, but, but I still talk, talk to myself. That kid has some, had some, must have had some big ass balls just to. Just to fucking say that. <laughs> I don't know if it was on to be funny or he was just genuinely serious. <laughs> I he 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 is he is ascending. Oh yeah, definitely. I also read a book by Activision. What was it called? It was it follows a man named um Peter Parker. Peter Parker. As he monologues his life as he walked through the, as he uh, walks through his life as he's trying to impress his girlfriend MJ. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but unfortunately, as, as he's secretly the inuin, the Spider Man, he <laughs> he can't make time for her. But for whatever reason, you can always make time for Dr. Octavius. And just enough to piss him off. (laughs) And he gets all psycho. And he starts blowing up New York. And then, after you realize that Spider-Man was Peter Parker, he's like, oh crap, I shouldn't blow up New York. I... You know what? Marvel, I'm gonna say it out here. What? Marvel movies are not movies. Marvel movies are what? Are not movies. They're roller coasters. Damn. (laughs) True. True rides. I'm not. They can also be a field trip. Take it. Take it in a good way or a bad way. But yeah, it could be I will either. still. I will still support like two thousand three or two thousand two, The Incredible Hulk. No, you don't. You're just saying that. I love the way that. Do you love the way they transition they portray- from comic from comic? Everything looks so realistic. No, get out of here, Kingley. You're just being goofy. From comic to comic, oh, they yeah, they transition everything like a freaking comic like they book. actually did. No, I get that, but there was a part where he broke out of the lab and, so and they blow up and they it was an actual military bomb, like really actually done. The CG was phenomenal, like. And they even balanced the Hulk where he fell back if you yanked on a tank too hard. It's like that sort of stuff. You gotta look closely on that. It's like really well done. The minor details. <laughs> yeah. Like he actually had to rebalance himself after he ripped off a tank cap. It's like legit stuff. I thought that was cool. It was so accurate. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. why you and the bomb that they used to blow up his old house, um, I guess it was a pretty nasty bomb. It's still used in the military to this day. What, yeah. war, what wars are we fighting now, Kingly? Do you know? What wars are we fighting now? What wars am I fighting? What are my taxes going to? Um, <laughs> honestly, world policing and wherever the oil is. <laughs> That's insane. Mm-hmm. True. I mean, to be honest, like we're, we're just essentially just policing and doing whatever some guy with money wants us to do. Biden. 
No, he's not the guy with money. He's following what the guy with money wants. Who's the guy with money? <laughs> Is it me? Is this me? <laughs> Am, am I um, I won't go further because this is not a political podcast. I don't believe you. <laughs> Objection. I, because you know, it will start to come into people's political beliefs and stuff. You know what? I actually have an idea for a YouTube sh for a YouTube series idea. That you know what? I'm gonna try it. What? Ooh, what is it? So I don't want to give any details, but Kogo Nani. Okay, I waited for your <laughs> Nani. The idea I I have in mind, I, I I it is to like promote the idea of of basically people wanting to understand politics, basically dumbing it down so they can understand. And having an honest. You know who's really opinion. good for that? No, I know who you're talking about, and if, and if you're right, I'm probably DMing him right now. No. Yeah. I don't think you are. I think I am. Does it start um, with M? It starts with M, ends with K. Does it? No, it's, mine starts with Z. Oh no, not him! I don't. Trust He's him. actually really good at explaining that. I refuse. He. The, He's surprisingly good at it. The man That's who, all I'm gonna say. Though. The, the man who starts with M and ends in Z, I, I, he hasn't been around. Oh. Well, <laughs> he kind of did like a few days ago, though. Those are fake. No, that was real. <laughs> what was the last number I said? One oh five. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that a bingo? Wait, no. No, I did nine last time. Yeah. 95. Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay. Well. All right. We're 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 nearing near a break. So we're going to we're going to talk about random shit before it's break time. Oh, uh, yeah. Yay. I... So let's talk about politics. Yeah, no, just one. <laughs> 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 So it so, so we're in so we're Co past go oh man we're past scary stories right now what what is like your guys's fucking favorite candy Snickers oh Snickers that's really a good one really Lip, yes Snickers. you know what's Chocolate. also really good bueno I need a picture the candy bar I bueno is so say good candy. yes. I would say I would have to say Twix, probably. You guys are so you guys are so simple. What do you want me to say? Another one, the M and M chocolate bar. Freaking love that. That's one. not real. That cannot exist. It's it exists, bro. That's in like four different kinds too. Oh wait, I'm wrong. Buckeyes, Buckeyes are the best candy out there. Seventy one. Wait, what's the best candy for you, Kingley? Buckeyes. Duck you didn't know what Buckeyes are? Popeyes? No, Buckeye. B U C K I S I Y E S. Buckeyes. Like the. Like Buckeyes. Deer eyes. <laughs> okay, so if you're not familiar, a Buckeye chestnut is like this brown nut with a black eyeball kind of look or something, or the opposite. It's kind of got like a brown pupil. Pogo, it looks like a Baca black Mikai. eye. <laughs> and essentially what it is, it's chocolate and that in it over encases like peanut butter. And it's better than Reese's in my opinion when it's especially done by your neighbor lady. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's how I got my supply. You gotta find yourself a, a nice little kind Christian lady in Ohio just to make you Buckeyes, and then you'll have the ultimate experience. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to go over there. Sounds sexual. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it was candy that they offer every Christmas. It was pretty nice of them, but yeah, but it's really good. It's, um, it's pretty much 
chocolate covered peanut butter, but the peanut butter pokes out at the top to look, look like a buckeye chestnut. I see, I see. Which I see. is the um, Ohio State tree. Okay, so, buckeye. So, so in America, in America, we call that Rolo. Oh, the Rolo! Dang. It's nothing like a Rolo. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Plus, I mean, Rolo is caramel, ain't like, it? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's caramel. caramel. It's but not yeah. the same. But if there was a peanut butter one, we'd all be dead. <laughs> you allergic <laughs> to peanut butter gum? No. We'd be, we'd be, we'd have too many weight. We'd be, we'd, be, we'd die of fatness. <laughs> diabetes. Oh, diabetes. Togo, what is? Do you have a favorite candy bar? Tell us, tell us, tell us so we can sponsor it. Yes, Togi Togo. Togo. Come. And if you, and if it's the wrong answer. Wrong answer? Oh no. <laughs> yes, it's a test. Now I am oh, pressured. <laughs> it's a pop quiz. I like Reese's. Oh, Reese's are good. We got like the, we got like Reese's, 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 Reese's. Reese's. We're all into heavy brands now, except Kingly. Who oh, I knew. Except for Kingly, who defected. No. Who defected? I defected to what? I don't know. What did you? What was your first answer? Oh, I I was thinking about Twix, but then Twix I remember yes. Buckeyes. So you, de you defected. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Twix. You have nothing on Buckeyes. Okay, but tell me, is there really a difference between the right Twix and the left Twix? If so, tell me what is it. Yeah. The left one's superior because I'm left-handed. The left one has semen in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, near God, same. no. You know, you know what's funny? I think they've been Not sending us that. all right ones all along. <laughs> like, how would you know that they didn't give you two rights in a left package? You know? Right. Exactly. Makes you wonder. They're getting our children with that. <laughs> Dude, remember when Mike's and Ike's were like, Mike and Ike's were like, had a, like a little feud or something? They had a feud? I thought you were gonna say when they were big. I was like, yes, I remember that. No, one. Mike and Ike's were like, they were like, it was weird, like. They would cross out like the name of Mike's, and then they would. <gasps> oh yeah! <laughs> that was like the biggest fight of the century at that time. <laughs> and I was so confused. Yeah, yeah. I was like so confused, and like I didn't understand it at all. <laughs> it's all propaganda, man. Yes. I, By the way, what? this is for you to show people if you want gum, but this is what Buckeyes like, look like if nobody wants to Google Buckeye candy. <laughs> I will show oh, you this, this will die. This will die in Ohio. Oh yeah, Chet, you started. it. Yeah. It didn't upload <laughs> until I uploaded. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah. curious to see it. <laughs> Dude, you know what? Fuck Halloween. It's I hate it. Now, you know what happened to me when I was giving out candy and half these motherfucking kids, they weren't even in costumes. They were just in their sweaters with their little backpacks and shit saying trick or treat. <laughs> yeah. You're mad because they were in costume. And half these kids didn't even say trick or treat. Oh, oh, now we fighting. That, that, that breaks the code. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I noticed that Halloween's not as like like big as it was when i was kind of younger yeah that's what i noticed too it used to be a huge thing but now it kind of like you know kind of like another day almost just yeah with more candy that's that scares me a little my towns even took over when people could trick-or-treat it's no longer on halloween day oh damn you know I, yeah i i love like i love my neighborhood though like they'll they'll give out crazy shit for halloween like like this year some guy was giving away fucking dr pepper as a trick-or-treat gift Ew. 
It's like, what the fuck, dude? All right. It's... All right, I renounce my Ohio residency. Where do you live? No. <laughs> the trees are kind of cool. And then, but like, what, is, what sucks is the kids are like just, they're not dressing up. And and the thing I do is, whenever it's trick or treating, I like I have a little system. I'll give the good ass candy to like the kids who dressed up or the little, the little, little kids so they can trick or treat again. You know what I mean? But I won't yeah. give a lot to the adults who, not even adults, the little teenagers who aren't even in costumes. I'll give them the, I'll give them the mounds bar, the little weak shit. Like just start giving them like toothpicks and stuff. Smarties. Toothbrushes. <laughs> Nickel nips. You know, I'll give them the weak candy. I'll give them the weak sauce. And then have some. Have that these kids try to fucking like get in, getting in my bowl. Like, what the fuck, dude? I'm not getting. <laughs> get the fuck off. Don't, don't, if you put your hand in the candy bowl, you're fucking dead. Okay, that's that's the end of the story. Like, don't don't try. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna grab the ones you want? What what kind of asshole does? That? Who are your parents? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very scared. Anyways, yeah, Halloween is 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 beautiful, but the kids are ruining it. Parents, if you're listening to me, fix your kids. Tell them to say trick or treat. And if they're going trick or treating, make them wear a fucking damn costume. Make them work for their motherfucking candy. I had a I had a fucking put in gas to getting that fucking bag of fucking diabetes and tooth decay. I had to get a fucking, <laughs> I had to use my actual fucking hard earned money for my 10 hour job just to get them a bag of candy. And, and, and all they say is all they say is trick or treat while on their fucking phones wearing a fucking ugly ass sweater. What is going on? Did they, could they afford a present? They had to. and Not a present. Could they afford a costume? They, they had to have, right? The, the they, they can. I don't fucking know, dude. They, they they look like there's no effort into it. And watch your. What did you dress up as? I was um, a, I, I was a, Halloween. I was a inmate. I was a condemned criminal. <laughs> R and D. Oh man. R and D. R and D. No sinners. <laughs> I I I will say on the other end of that. I've been that kid that had to trick or treat in a hoodie. Why? Why? I mean, a good excuse. <laughs> oh, damn! Because one, not the time. Like I had a bad home life at the moment All because right. it's, it's, my it's, father decided to dip. Okay. So, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So so okay. So I didn't okay. afford a costume. Okay. So. I, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! You're making me feel bad. It's don't worry. I'm I'm over. I'm <laughs> over it now. Shut up! I'm over here trying to rant. I'm over here trying. To rant. I thought it was something like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oops. You had to go through that, Kingly. Kingly, what the fuck you've done? You. <laughs> You've my bad, I offered the other perspective. You ruined my rant. <laughs> you, you ruined Halloween for Gome. You ruined Halloween for me. I don't believe oh, in a God. Halloween man. Oh. LMAO. Oh, God. Yeah. There was one time I took duct tape and wrapped it around my arm to try to resemble some sort of costume. <laughs> Okay, see, at least you tried. <laughs> yeah. It's like a modernized zombie. Half these kids in. I mean... Um, I was going for garbage, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I remember one kid dressed up as a cardboard guy, and I liked it. Just like a cardboard guy. That's it. Yes. That I said, you know what? That's a winner. That's a winner. You made it yourself, I can tell. Look at all that scotch tape. <laughs> Did you all have any Halloween experiences? Oh. Oh.
Um, you all don't believe in Halloween. I'll be honest. Half our house decided to leave for like some scare house. They left for uh for some spook houses out like into into the city. That's uh an hour away from here. So I just kind of was here chilling, eat munching on candy. I felt mm. good. I felt like candy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a nice story, King. What about you, Togo? Did you do it? Yes. Togo says yes. Kogo. Hum. 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 I don't actually celebrate Halloween. What? So I didn't do, do anything. You're a, you're you're an Halloweenist? A Halloween, a, a Hallow atheist. I'm, I'm, LA I'm with Togo, as well. I, I don't celebrate Halloween either. My parents mm -hmm. are. <gasps> Those rascals. I just too lazy <laughs> to be a rebel. <laughs> don't worry, guys. When in doubt, break out a clown nose. Wow. 71. Yay. I, if I did say... Didn't 70, you say that number already? Yeah, I was about to say that. Disregard that. I meant to say... Oh, he's been saying these numbers as the secret one, one, code, seven. isn't he? Dude, shut up. Yeah. He just ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> the point of the podcast. Well, yeah, I caught on to that. The point is... LMAO. The point is to ignore that. Okay, this code is cut that out. It's one one seven. If if I did not say seventy one already, then it's seventy one. But for now, it's I'll just give you the two codes. I mean, no, one one seven. That's it. We, we we didn't hear any of this. I don't know what Gum just said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh right. my back! As Halloween ends, the shoulder blade. As Halloween ends, the autumn season begins to end as well. Or no, yeah, autumn begins to end as well. Since Thanksgiving, a holiday that somewhat exists in in this fucking day and age, like like I know it's I know it's not like around the world kind of thing. But listen, there's like there's like at least a holiday per month. So get get used to it. I'm about to say something that'll make everyone here disown me. Okay. What? I don't like ham and I don't like turkey. Damn. <laughs> I'm not a Damn. holiday meat fan. Prick. Prick. Do you like chicken? Pogo. Damn. Yeah. Do you like waffles? I've been craving both ham and turkey. I've been craving turkey, I'm not gonna lie. And I wasn't Don't even worry, American I until like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I will redeem myself, I eat the hell out of some stuffing. That doesn't count, you're not allowed to have the stuffing. <laughs> um, That's just still like a garnish. The meats I don't like. I'm gonna tell Prick's funny ass story. Prick, if you're re watching the podcast, I'm telling your funny ass story. So Prick was in charge of watching, or like, and was in, was automatically in charge of bringing the fucking ham or turkey or whatever f for Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And he forgets it, I think, or he just fails to, or he just doesn't do it. So he, <laughs> Mm -hmm. like, so he gets like some store bought ham or something. I think I want to say he got the slices. I need it. I need to hear it again. But yeah, that's all they ate, and they're all like, "What the fuck, just, what the fuck, prick?" And he's like, "Hey, that's all I could get." I don't fucking know, dude. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a thing. Like that was funny. There was like. <laughs> He, like, you were in charge of getting the turkey, and now we have weird-ass ham. 
Dude, and, and, then, and now I'm hearing people have ham for Easter. I don't get that either. What? That people have ham for Easter? Yeah. That's a new one. It is a new one. Like, apparently. Um. Can we elaborate? I ideally, what it is, it's like it's like a. I I, I blame this is a white people thing. It just mm. everyone loves having a feast every Christian holiday or something. I don't know. It's just like they don't feel right unless there's like a ham or a turkey in the middle of a table during Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Some people just love smacking down a holiday meal those times of the year, each time. <laughs> That's bizarre. Also, it's the times of the years that the food pantries give out free food, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> true that. It has to Very be. true. You're telling me it has to be a holiday for them to give out shit? That's fucked up. Well, it's when people donate to them the most. Mm-hmm. Also, and some of these weren't even food pantries. It was actually community dinners for anyone to join. Are you are you just born to go against everything I rant about? <laughs> are you the, um, I am actually a professional devil's advocate. Are you the are you the anti spiral? <laughs> Do, I Lodge, guess so. <laughs> Gurren Lodge on fan will understand. Row, row, fight the power. <laughs> I I seen what happens to groups and people if there is no devil's advocate. So I am the voluntary devil's advocate. I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> it, it turned from Thanksgiving no, no, thanks to Salem witch trial. It turned from Thanksgiving to Halloween again. <laughs> I'm the reason. <laughs> I'm the reason why no one's burning at a stake right now. Artists. <laughs> Artists, yes. It is well. time to stop drawing your female characters as super sexy people for Halloween, and it is time to start drawing them as super sexy Santa Claus for Christmas. Eighteen. But, but if you somehow draw, but if you draw <laughs> a super sexy turkey girl for Thanksgiving, we're putting your ass on the podcast for season two. That's confirmed. So I want everyone to listening to stand the fuck up. Because oh, you, gotta, yeah. you gotta you gotta stretch your fucking legs because if you don't, you're getting type two diabetes and you'll be unable to hear it the entire podcast for the rest of your life because type two diabetes affects your ear balls. You probably don't know that because you're not a doctor and I am. Yes. Oh, okay. Twenty four. No, that's Are not you a- willing to testify that under the code of law? One oh nine. That's the last code. <laughs> <laughs> 45 Jet, you, you basically said cancel dash huh? That's it that's Why did it take so long? You're just making it up as you go No, I'm not I know what I said If you can figure out the codes I've said you get a free commission There's There's You'll be in the next Sinners update. No. If you can figure out the what is this? Is the pig quest is real? My Sinners update oh. bombed, and I think it's because I uploaded it at Kogo. 7 a.m. OMG. No, it's because Mac, Mac Attack got, um... I don't want to spoil it for people. He died. But... He, di- he dies. He fucking died, guys. That's all it is. That's what happened. That's... This is... This is... This is... This is it's break time. Oh man. It's break time. It's break time. It's rewind time. It's rewind. Ah, that's hot. That's really hot. <laughs> he better be hot. alive. <laughs> Honestly, though, that's my boy. That's our boy. Mac no, more, no more boys. Alright, that's it. This is this is this is the podcast. This is what we've done. This is probably way over our break. Yes. So yeah, it's it's break time, boys. Let's go.
This is after hours. After hours. <laughs> oh, man. It's break time. I, I, I hope I don't break another new part of my body in the next time we saw, talk. Break time. Break I get time. the joke, but I don't know if I should laugh or not. <laughs> Ow. Okay, copyrighted again. Right? Yes. Up. Um, we're back from the break, and we brought someone very special. Yes. Oh dear <laughs> God! It's my I got I got water on break, but anyways, we got a new person. I found them on Instagram. I saw they had a web comic. I said, "Oh, you know what? Let's fucking interview them." And and and, it, 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 and now here we are. As one does. As one does. So without further ado, I hope the crowd audience is ready <clears throat> in five <laughs> seconds as I introduce our <laughs> other <laughs> other <laughs> interview our 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 eleventh. Not love. Our guest. Our twelfth guest on the show. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Cassandy. Hi. Now, or everyone at home, the correction is Pi Sandy. Pi Sandy, indeed. It's Sandy. Uh, you just call me uh, Sandy or P. See. Don't be so. Oh yes. Don't be nameless. Peace. Oh shit. Peace, Andy. Don't be a nameless. Yes. Don't <laughs> be nameless. Don't be a nameless. So I found them, well, on Instagram, you know, cause algorithm bullshit, and then I'm like, huh, a web comic artist. I have. Th they're like me. <laughs> yes. So and then I saw their art, and I'm like, huh, it's pretty nice. And now... Kogo, she just like me. She just like me? She just like me for real. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so... God. It's good water. Um, 
I'm on a diet. So, Pi Andy, I know this is all yeah new to you. You know, do you feel a little shy on the show or anything? Um, not really. If I'm a little quiet, that might be just because I don't really know what to say. But that's pretty nice. Okay. Okay. I, Understandable. Yeah, I don't want I, I, the least. The one thing I don't want to do is make you feel uncomfortable. Am I? Am I right, studio audience? <laughs> They're on the water See, just break. Stick, just, just oh, the back to me. Just to the audience who's just trying to be funny. Damn it! Damn it! Okay. So as most interviews work, I ask you a couple of questions. We might get a little goofy near the end. We'll, we'll see what happens. It happens okay. to all of us. So first, let me take some a little sip. God. Wait, what did you say? What? What? What did you say? I couldn't hear. I said, let me take a little sip of my water, and then I'm going to ask you some questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you didn't have to repeat that part. Yeah, you really did it. This podcast is sponsored by Wendy's. Have it your way. We're not, but it'd be dope. Oh, I broke my chair. That's okay. I broke my femur yesterday. Um... <laughs> So, go. Oh no. So, first question of the year. The question that everyone is asked on the hot seat. What got you into art? Um I don't want I don't know what to say without sounding cliche. Um anime. I guess I just like I just really like to draw. Ah. Nothing else. Drawing fever. Um, do you mean like, like I used to watch a lot of like cartoons and like animes when I was little. But yeah, it. But did it help get you into it, or was it just the urge to draw? Well, like, I like to make my own little comics because I would read comics, um, that like my brother bought, and I would like try to draw my own, and then it just became like a fun little hobby of mine. Man, that's kind of that's kind of like me. You like me for real? For real. <laughs> for real. Um, so that for guy. Real, so real. what kind of comics did you read back then? Then was it just diary? Well, um, well, like stuff like um. Like sisters and like the Adventure Time comics and the Pokemon manga. Makes sense. Makes very much sense. You ever what? You ever read Bone growing up? Um, I don't think I have. Shout out to all the the Boner fans out there. It's a wham. Well. I don't know. It's, it was a <laughs> bad joke on my part. Anyways. So, what are your inspirations? What are what are your inspirations, if you have any, like, um, like put, other webtoons or or anything? Anything that gives you like the urge to do anything, like to write um, and draw. Well, when I was little, I used to watch like a lot of um, Steven Universe, um, and I I kind of got inspirations from the backgrounds in that show because they were like the clouds and like the sea and um which kind of inspired like the settings in my first episode in my webtoon and then i started watching more anime and then i liked like obscure shows i haven't seen a lot of anime i've only seen like a little bit but my art style is definitely based off anime I can kind of see that. So, excuse me, I burped. Excuse me, I burped again. Um, it's okay. Thank you. Fuck! Now I forgot what I. I forgot what I was gonna say. 
It was the burp. It threw me off. Rip. It did. Rip. It ripped me apart. It happens to the best of us. I can't help it. This is what this is what dieting sounds like. Bad. <sighs> so, any f- favorite manga, comic, anime, novel, and specifically that you like out there? Like comics. Anything you adore that you love absolutely, like whether it be oh a God. show or a comic. Well, I really like the webtoon called Hooky, and I got like big inspiration from the art style as well as Omori the game. Uh, uh, I've, heard, okay. I've heard of Omori. I've heard of Omori, and I've heard of Pogo. Hooky. Hey, I know Hooky. Yeah, it's um, I also really like. Well, recently I watched this show called Tiger and Bunny on Netflix. It's an, it's a superhero anime, and I think it's really nice. And it really inspired me to start, like, motivating me to draw more lately. Is is that the one where they, like, they, they, they have sponsors like Pepsi and shit? Yeah, yeah, the sponsors. <laughs> it's like, like a capitalistic take on superheroes. It's kind of like, it's pretty realistic, kind of. Damn it. If superheroes like, existed, that's probably what they would do. I I always thought Tiger and Bunny was like some kind of mech fighting show that used like sponsors and shit. I never thought it was superheroes. That's that bums me out. Yeah, it's a it's a <laughs> superheroes. I have, but they don't really look too much like superheroes. They look more like like robots. Good. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I like it. Oh no. Oh no! Are you looking at oh. No! No! The... Oh god, I feel so what? embarrassed. Don't tell me you didn't press start. No, I started it. It's... Oh. There was Minecraft noises in the background. Oh my god, I love Minecraft. Well, oh, hell yeah! I hope it didn't get into the the feed. So you just got zombies in the background. You just hear fucking no, because I didn't notice. Did. I didn't notice until I heard rain. I'm like, what? And I, and I forgot my capture. <laughs> Fuck, it's okay. ASMR in the background. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I didn't expect that. I mean, he's he's ear raped us with water slurping or whatever. So, I guess yeah, I, I'd rather have Minecraft noises. Mm-hmm. Are you sure you want to hear the zombie going like, like jump Bro. scare? You? <laughs> Cow say no. The zombie say bro. Yeah. I feel it's better than farm animals and villagers, though. <laughs> Huh. 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 And and then then the moos and the chicken clucks. Oh my god. I, I literally turned those noises off in Minecraft just so I can oh, survive. Is there anything you hate? Like any type of anime or manga, anything like Excuse me. Oh god. Mm, I wouldn't. I don't really. Ca- I can't really think of anything I really hate right now. Maybe like dislike, but like not nothing like. I. I don't know. What do you dislike then? Um. Well, like. I guess like if it's like, a show that's like boring or like not really takes my interest, then I don't really like it that much. But like. Actually, I think I like a lot of shows. I can't really think of anything I dislike right now. You know, okay, okay. You know, when I first started on webtoons, there was one thing I did hate. What? Cliches. No, this. Oh mom, yeah. This one. Com- this, this one web comic called "My Yandiri Neko Girlfriend." Oh, that sounds obnoxious. I the art style. <laughs> the art style was. <laughs> It, it, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. It, it, you could understand what was kind of going on, but I don't know. It was so popular that I was like, what? How can this happen? 
If they could do it, I could do it. Exactly. I know people in the the fucking industry with so iffy styles. And I know sometimes it's the writing, but when I saw Neko, my Yandiri Neko girlfriend, I said to myself, the writing, this is some guy's fantasy. I don't know. I Honestly, it's probably not just that guy's fantasy. I'm pretty sure there's other guys and other people who has had that fantasy and they're like, oh my god, this is it. Oh my god. She's a Yandiri Neko girl. Like, she's it's finally girl. here. She's my type. I can't That's what oh, crap, I better I've go hide my for. pillows. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bad, kingly bad. Oh my god, she would stab me to death. That's so hot. With her, with her, <laughs> right? with her claws, no less. <laughs> with her claws. <laughs> and, and she'll say, yeah. While she does it. That reminds me of that freaking real life Yandiri girl people were talking about that one time. You know what I mean? Mm, and they said it was it, it happened in Japan. Some girl like stabbed some guy. I think the guy lived. I'm pretty sure. And then they charged her and sent her to jail. And all the people were like standing her like. Oh, uh, she just she just loves him. That's all. She she just stabbed him over love. It's okay. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how do you get to that point, though? I don't know. It's wacky. Uh, okay. This is an obvious question that we already know the answer to. Um, do you have a comic? Yeah, I do. What is it called? John Derry Unu girlfriend. That's not what it's called, Kingly. <laughs> <laughs> That's false propaganda. Unu girlfriend. <laughs> oh, god. oh god, I burped and now I'm dying. <laughs> oh, what the? I need more water. Oh, what the hell? Um, I'm getting a phone call. Piss Andy, tell us the name of your comic. It's called Cafe Classroom. You can read it on Webtoon. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Now that What's we have oh. there's been... S Togo. Oh, oh yeah. That's well, the thing. It's what is it about? The it's about, like, if my um, passport's in friends, there. food, and um, school. I'm... I wanted, like, I made it so I could draw food, because yeah, I, I made it when I was, like, really hungry, and passport. I was thinking of the story, and I'm like, this is perfect. This is perfect. I'm gonna draw about a culinary club at school, and they're gonna make food, and I'm just like, Amazing. That's freaking oh. awesome. <laughs> Yummy. What kind of foods do you draw in it? Is it like traditional to like one culture or is it like, like different different foods from around the world? It's just anything random that comes to my head that I'm craving. Like this one time I was craving ramen so I put ramen in the episode. And then I was craving a sandwich, so I put sandwich on another episode. That's freaking dope. I saw those. I saw those. I saw there them will doing be more their... food soon. There will a lot more. They're gonna go to like restaurants and like they're gonna make like things. It's gonna be epic. I'm gonna draw like Ooh. the sexiest looking food and the most like like um it's gonna make you hungry. Oh hex, yeah, it's food porn. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so basically my webtoon is just like um like a emo, not really emo. She's kind of like like depressed and she joins a food club, culinary club. Cuz food always makes you happy. Yes. Oh, and also she makes friends too, but that's not the point. The point is the food. <laughs> the point is the food, of course, of the course. The point is the food. <laughs> That's I'm actually drawing awesome. right now. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, do you do that for like almost every episode where you're like delicious. eating something and then you just draw it in? Um. Well, so far at the beginning of the story, there's not much food, but I'm planning. 
like we're starting to get to the point of the story where there's gonna be food in like every episode so yeah um but right now it's kind of like you know they're joining they're more at school so the only food you really see is lunch right now sammy go away i'm on a call okay sorry um you're good I'm gonna send something. I've been. I'm actually been sorry if I've been quiet like before the podcast started because I was like working on my comic. Oh no no you're good you're good. It happens to me too. Like I try to draw and talk at the same time and then I just end up just drawing and forgetting about the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, we have Aww. to see this. That's a wholesome thing. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yay. You want to talk about your characters? Well, other characters that star in the in the Wolf comic? Um, yeah, so far there there's like there's the main character and then there's um so far I introduced I think like four characters and there will be more soon in the main cast but for now. There's just Suki, who's the main character. Yeah. <laughs> She's named Suki, which is like a... Suki when I was thinking up of the name, too. So, that's yeah. amazing. Yes. Nice, and nice. Then, oh, you could do food puns! Huh? No, I you could do food puns in it! That would be awesome! Too. Oh, maybe. I, I don't know, but like, like every pun I think of is lame, so I'm kind of not scared to put oh, in. Uh, oh, just uh, just a second. A little technical uh, difficulties here. We have a gum over talking the interview. Don't get out of here, bro. Close the door. <laughs> Come back when you're done with your call, bro. <laughs> well, um, sorry, I'm kind of lagging. Um, the other, All right. like, main cast characters are, like, um, the other one is Gio, and he's named after a dish called right. Kai Gio, which is basically fried egg. No. Oh. Uh, uh, Wait, okay, dumb question. Oh, no, I, I heard it. Does Okay, I was gonna ask, does, does he look like a fried egg? Yeah. No, he doesn't. He doesn't really look like a fried egg, but his, his favorite to. color is yellow, so he's kind of like based off of that. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> Alec is just Alec. He's he's not named after any food. He's just Alec. <laughs> he's just Alec. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 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 Okay. If you've got a good good group of cast members in the in the webcomic series. Thank you. Yes. Is there anything else you want to ask? Yes. Yes. I, I yeah. will say, really random. Oh, go ahead, Kingley. I'll save mine. If anyone's curious about the image that Sandy has shown us, if you go to chap, if you read through the uh, their webcomic, if you go to chapter seven, or the one that says report card, you can see the character they showed us. No. I refuse. Ooh. Where can you see that? Cough, cough, wink, wink. Plugs. You can see that on Webtoons called Cafe Classroom. Oh, uh, you can also find the link in my bio. All right. That as well. I have a question. Kogo. What were you guys? Heck yeah. What were you guys talking about while I was on the side? Einstein's theory. Oh, that sucks. Quantum mechanics. Why are you neglecting us? Listen. <laughs> Also, Kingly, you muting me, Kingly, if you, you Pensive can't, face. You can't mute me. The, it will still hear what I say. He has all the power. He has all the power. Oh. I, no, I was just talking. I was trying to get, like, my passport for a future trip I'm going to. Oh, we're very uh, professional. Oh, yeah, the best of the best. The best of the best. So you guys getting comfy with her story? What happened? Yes, she was telling us about her characters. That's hot. Like the girl with the And glasses. food porn. A porn? P porn? Yes, food porn. Food. Oh, food. Food is in front of it. Okay. 
I bet you go oh, now he's paying like attention. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 oh, this. Yes. Toasty BLT. Ah, oh, hex, yeah. There's that saying, which. No, no, no. Alright. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> um, um, who oh, oh, interrupts her like ten I, times? LMAO. <laughs> go, go ahead, Sandy. <laughs> Just oh. a second, they are having technical difficulties i think i was gonna think 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 oh, no. oh think. my god my internet s-a-n-d-y-y -Y. Y. that's okay you're back, oh, back. Yay. hi hi sorry i was dying <laughs> you're fine <laughs> i missed you oh oh thank you Aww. togo but i was hardly gone for a while yeah <laughs> um shush gum <laughs> All right. What was my last question? Oh yeah, do you have a comic? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I wonder. What is it called? <laughs> it's called Cafe Classroom. You can find it on my Discord bio. Did you um Now, I don't know recently, I don't know if it was recently, but you were like comp comp contemplating the title. Um, oh yeah, I was like, I was having a little crisis, but then I decided to keep it as cafe classroom because, I don't know, I was just like, I was like bipolar that day or something, I don't, I don't, we, we don't talk about it. That's understandable, I had to change my, my comic's name as well too, because it was wet. Like that. I'm always like, I'm always like overthinking everything, I need to stop doing oh, yes. that, or else like my, oh, that's hard. my comic is gonna like, fall apart if I keep doing that. <laughs> I just think, just think about food. Yeah, just think about food. You think about the whole reason I made it in the first place. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> the food. Food. Perfect. Glorious food. Hey, I will say the, the ramen was food. glorious. Thank you. I'm. I. You know what? I never really drew food until I decided to make this comic, so I'm still learning. So it might look a little weird, but hey, as long as it makes you hungry. Yes. Honestly, are you gonna have like any fast food chains in there or any fast food food Mc in there? McGrath. Well, in the first episode, I'm not sure if this counts as fast food, but um, there was a, a 7-Eleven, but in my comic I called it, um, I think Kevin Eleven or something like that. 7-Eleven. Nice. Uh, we don't get uh, copyright okay. here, like it doesn't Sandy. matter how yeah. Sponsored by is. Wendy's. What, what copyright? Wendy's. You didn't say 7 Eleven. You actually just said, uh, uh, I Kevin said Seven. Seven. Yeah. yeah Kevin. Kevin. Oh, yeah. Kevin Seven. My bad. Kevin Seven. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You said Kevin Seven. You never said 7 Eleven at all. What's right? Legally speaking. Yeah. So, like, yeah. maybe, like, I can add, like, McDonald's. I can say, like, McDonald's or, like, with a W. Mm -hmm. or, like, just yes. change it a little. So it's, like, yeah, I like it. That's honestly my favorite part of uh, reading or watching anything yep, is yep. just seeing them coming up with the different names. Yo, for that gives me an things idea. you know. That gives me an idea. New food chain. What so, idea? So listen, hear me out, guys. Like, you know how gang, like gangs have, like you know, like gangs, you know, like the Crips, the Bloods, Latin Kings. Yeah. What if we gang gang? What if we did that but fused it with fast food chains? Like instead of Starbucks, it's the Star young money. Like Starbucks is like Starbloods. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 bur the Burger Crips. Burger Crips. Ah! <laughs> Get out of my head, man! Get the fuck out of my head! Continue stretching on too quick. Get the fuck out of my head, man! You're messing with my head. <laughs> the fuck? Wanna know you want to know another thing that's going to mess with your head? 
<laughs> at Seven Kevin, they have one gallon cola, and I love it. I love it. <laughs> we're not sponsor. We're not sponsoring a fictional, a fictional fantasy land, Kingly. This well, is yes, real. we I'm are because it's because it's her comic. You don't. Of course, you. we're sponsoring it. <laughs> I'll, mur I'll, I'll, yeah. murder, I'll murder everyone in this podcast. It's free real estate. <laughs> I hate real estate. Come on, man. That one gal call out looks really good. They're in <laughs> And that sandwich too though. The McKings will yep. the McKings will be displeased with you guys. Let's see. What was I gonna fuck? <laughs> you probably already said this while I was gone talking about my <laughs> passport, but what's it about your comic? I <laughs> <laughs> did say it. Yo, uh, I got you covered. Go. Well, it's no go. Oh my lord. Um, it's uh, it's about like, um, food, friends, and school. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Something <laughs> dark. <laughs> Oh my God. Anything crazy happen? Any uh, spoilers no, like, we, we, we can we can uh, hear about? What? Hold on, wait. Oh my God! <laughs> I was onto something there. <laughs> <laughs> and then the sp and then from that then on, gum was <laughs> ruined. Trying to guess the spoiler to this day. It's 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 like that um that one owl that owl comic thing. All right, my my bad, my bad. You're good. You're good. It was like the, it's, it's like that one owl comic where like I try to figure out the secret, and then I meet friends along the way, and after countless yes. years, it turns out the person was actually magic. There was no trick. <laughs> um, if you guys want like spoilers or hints, then I could probably give you some. Does someone die? Ooh. Um, Ooh. no. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, no. <gasps> Well, well dun, dun, um, dun. somewhat, I don't know. <gasps> it's like the they me that they die choking yes. up there. But, you know. Never mind, nobody dies. Nobody dies Go -go. in this story. Food poisoning. <laughs> food poisoning. Oh, I don't think food poisoning is enough to kill someone unless it's, like, lethal. <laughs> That's fair. When the food Usually is too just, good, like, you die. Usually you just, have diarrhea, and then there, it's done. I guess you're right. Food coma. Hold on, I have to help my cat take her medicine. We'll be right back. Okay. We want to watch. I want to watch. You know what, Togo? Okay. You know what, Togo? You know what, Togo? Togito. Your mom. What? <gasps> Oh, you said it too early, Gum. Shut lame. Up. Oh, yeah. You no. didn't wait. Lame. Not, not lame. Joke destroyed. Sh I'm killing. <laughs> yep. I'm when you're so late. You know what, Gum? It, what? It's, <laughs> it's not in Discord. It's in all in front of the live studio audience. See, that's how you do it. I'm banning everyone <laughs> from ever existing. <laughs> I would have laughed if freaking uh, Togo would have said these nuts. Like, I would have been. I would have been done. <laughs> <laughs> Togo, are you, Togo? Do you know how to make an ending? Ah, shucks, should have done that. You, you're saying you never made your ending before? An ending? Yes, an ending. What is an ending? No. Well, let me tell you something. With a cross-sponsor promo, you see. What is the end? Allow me to tell you. This creator named Gumkid made a video on how to make an ending. Wow, what a sellout. What no, a sellout. <laughs> and by gosh, it wasn't... It was very Popular insightful. YouTube sensation. Popular YouTube sensation. I'm, it's slowly growing in, in views. Hello. While we wait for... Yep, yep. While we wait for Sandy to take out the, the garbage. That's not what she said, but okay. Eat the cat. Um... I don't, I don't Will he really teach me how to end it all? Oh, God. okay. No more. <laughs> she's she's 
No more cross pomo. Oh. Oh, the the timing. Do you have? Do you? Oh. Darn it. Do you have any? Are I you guys talking about me? No. Yes, kind of. Okay. Miscellaneous All right. stuff. What's your question? Um. Any idea? Do you have any ideas in the future? Like, will, will when cafe classroom ends, will you ever have a? You know. Any anything else beyond that? Uh, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. I honestly don't even think I'll finish it, but like, I want to really try. And also, like, I don't really have a schedule or anything, or I, can't, I, I probably like can't um do it like full time because I still go to school. So it's kind of just like a comic I make as a hobby. I see. So like, yeah. It's all about the food. Guess college college um i don't know what college i want to go to yet but no, I, was, I was asking uh, are you in college no i'm not not yet none of you yeah I'm, I'm a baby like high school yeah uh oh uh oh uh -oh. Yeah, i'm graduating soon <laughs> yeah, that's why my schedule is like really. Oh, go. Gum left the chat. That's why my <laughs> schedule is really inconsistent because I'm always like doing homework and like studying. So like, mm. and like I spend like half of the day at school. So Oof. yeah, but I'm trying my best to upload as like um often as I could because I really like <laughs> like I'm I'm glad I have all these people who like to read it and I'm glad I didn't even think I'd get like ten subscribers to be honest. Yeah. So it makes me really happy that mm -hmm. I have a hundred. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, it looks really fun. Uh, you definitely got something going there. Yeah. May I say something? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that, was Did you my that was a kazoo that is broken. Dumb what? Um, other than that... I know what you t I if you ever do want to make that comic thing, like I like, I know what comics or webtoons. If you post like weekly, people will love it. But sometimes mm -hmm. when you don't do that, you'll still get a fan base somehow. That's kind of what I kind of like, especially where you market it. Sometimes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. they call that a cult classic, <laughs> a cult hit. Nice, nice one. Uh -huh. Ooh. All right. I hope you have the soundtrack separated. That's a little loud. Let's go back to yeah, that is. Let's go back to Jet. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Jet. All right, let's go back to Pi Andy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got the hi. All right, sorry for the weird outburst. Um. So, do you see art as a career? Mm. No, not really. More like a hobby, maybe. What is your future? What is what career do you have in sight? Um, in the future, probably, I'll just probably have my like. I'm gonna go to college, and then I'm gonna like work, and then maybe draw my comic as like, like on the side. I'm playing with it, bro. It's in. It, I. It, it was an accident. I so honestly don't really know what I want to do for the future right now, but if um <laughs> if things don't work out, then I can always like fall back on art. Maybe that'll make me some money. I don't know. Well, there's always there's always <laughs> options out there, especially for very creative people. Like, you know, that uh -huh. want that want to do that feel like art won't be a strong suit for them, but there are other ways to, you know, like there are always other things. Yeah. Like like architecture, kingly. Yes. You know I have that too. What? I wonder if I, that little toilet you're playing with. I wonder if I can find. Shut up! To no, you don't. Shut up. Um. <laughs> so. It stop it. <laughs> Jet, we're having a serious interview. You're playing with coins. <laughs> okay. Yeah, true. Keep going. 
<laughs> Sorry about that, Sam. I forgot what the fuck I was saying. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's always options out there. I know. Pogo, I want one. With me, um, all I, <laughs> with me, I'm kind of in a similar boat. Not really, but like, I just want, I just want money, and I just want to draw. That's it. I thought you were gonna say I just want money <laughs> and fame. Fame, fortune, and glory. <laughs> um. If if art somehow picks up as a career, then I'm like, okay, I can just do that then. Yep, as long as you make the big money. I feel like that's all. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of people out there who like they draw off to the side as they earn money through other ways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, yeah, just because you got to go work for someone, you know, doesn't mean your art has to die with it. <laughs> the yeah, that's the thing. I always, like, I felt like Amen. I don't really want to have, like, an art career in the future. Because, like, like, if I become, like, an artist for, like, a company or, like, um, an animation studio, I feel like I won't be able to draw what I want. And, I'll, I'll, like, it'll make me hate drawing. So I fear that. So it's, like, kind of, like, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and you could be I'm also feeling... burned out too. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling like, you on that. Yeah, like um, when it comes to me, I feel like art is like something that heals me from burnout. I draw when like to de-stress, but if it becomes my stress, then I don't think I'll like that very much. Mhm. Mm yeah. I did exactly that, where it ended up becoming my I feel stress, that. and. I worked, like, busted my butt, like, three years straight improving my art. And I did burn out really bad badly after that. Like, I was gone for a year and everything. And it's better if if you're careful with uh, what you want as your, your art as a career, a hobby, on the side. Because if uh, the burnout thing doesn't feel very great. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. I disagree. I'm just kidding. I was about to kick you out. No, you won't. <laughs> you guys got any? You guys got any more questions for her? I do. I have a really weird and random question. All right. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Um, I'm right-handed. Oh. Nice. I am too. Hey, oh, man. We would have been able to tell if we read her comic more. I, I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, you can tell. If you look at Suki at the the seven Kevin, the, the hair, uh -huh. if it was left-handed, I think that curve would have been on the other side. Oh my god. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh. There's a different way I can tell. Damn. Big brain. But you know what? I, I'm Kingly gonna say the that. Kingly the detective. King, me, Kingly, I'm gonna invite you on a... I'll invite you to my YouTube channel. We can figure out how, if artists are left or right-handed. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that? I to make animations on my YouTube channel. Ooh, animation Ooh. memes or just random animations? Oh my god, don't even get me started. <laughs> oh, I have such a crazy animation phase. Honestly, though, like, I was really into animation memes, too, at the beginning. Like, what's it Same. called? The rice dance one? Or, what's it called? Um, the edgy ones that they had, like, Mr. King destroy me. Oh my god, there were so many edgy ones. Yes. <laughs> I, I freaking like, Sleepy King got me into them. For real. <laughs> I think they're still up. Like, I kind of regret deleting most of them because, like, I would cringe at them and delete them. But now I wish I didn't so I can look back on it. But now it's gone forever. So I'm just like, oh. Ah, oh, Reed. Yeah, now you can, like, archive oh, yeah. videos. Or yeah, but there's still them. some left up on my channel. But they're really old and really bad. That's okay. Honestly, same. That's okay. Uh, That's it's it's the pain. 
That's okay because you could look back. Yeah, exactly. You could look back at it and be like, "Oh, this is how I used to." Now, I draw awesome. Um. Yeah, but like, I also feel like stabbing myself when I see my old art. Honestly, <laughs> same. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a plain. I mean, a pain in a pleasure moment. Well, when I was fourteen, I drew really horrendous Naruto fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. Kid. Oh my. Oh dear. It's. It scares me. <laughs> That's the true horror. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Um, any more questions? <laughs> any more questions? <laughs> My flute fell. <laughs> Keep it on the ground. <laughs> Don't make me think. Don't make me think about it. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, it's too much. I do have one good question. Do it. Will the one gallon cola make another appearance? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> With the one gallon cola make another appearance. <laughs> oh, they can make an appearance anytime. It's canon. Ooh. Yay! Yes. <laughs> GG's. We were talking about the the cola thing. Mm hmm. The five <laughs> gallon cola. Yeah, that I can I can bring it back. Oh. It is just lovely. <laughs> Pogo, Wait, hold on. we'll be right back. Sorry, I'm leaving so much. It's okay. Because now Come has done it to us twice. She's adding it right now. <laughs> <laughs> the one gallon cola strives again. <laughs> Such timing. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Queen. Uh oh, oh man, a little bit of Queenly came out there. I forgot. I st I forgot they're still there. Yeah, we we're done with that. That was like two two episodes ago, dude. Come on, get on the page. Which page number? Our page. <laughs> <laughs> I need a pager. <laughs> I've thought about buying a pager actually, but I don't know what the purpose actually is. Actually, see, you. Uh, yeah, it would be cool. The but... episode. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, a pager would have been dope. What, what's the purpose of a pager? It, um, it was somebody like needs to get your phone. attention. Oh yeah, that's so. <laughs> I always think. Yeah, of... it. Sorry. It was text messaging before text messaging. Yeah. <laughs> It was cool before. I, I always, I always, just, I always, like, like, you know how, like, I am new, Greg. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to talk over you again. <laughs> okay, no more um. talk. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind I just us. changed We're just my talking name. about old people stuff. Oh, yeah. you changed your name? I changed my name on Instagram and like Twitter and Webtoon and stuff because because it's hard to pronounce and I just realized that and I was kind of like, you know what? I'm just gonna change it to Sandy. You don't have to be bipolar about it. It's okay. No, no, it's hey, fine. There you go, everybody. Now you know where to where to find her beautiful art at. Beautiful art, yes. beautiful comic, beautiful, beautiful, and very yes. delicious too. What oh, Hugbando yes. episode? Yes. How do you pronounce that? Hugbando, yeah. I, I would say for for your episodes now, keep your name on there as an Easter egg. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds yeah, it's queen. I'm gonna. It's gonna make a very like random appearance on like. One of the episodes. 
<laughs> and then I'm gonna have my characters pronounce it wrong. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an episode. I'm gonna make an episode where it's like, um, they're they're like, is this piss and me? And then I I start crying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, That's the real amazing. reason why it was changed. <laughs> I will not be called piss. This is the last time. <laughs> well, now you guys are making me feel. Um, cool. I guess, but don't be loud, Sam. What's up? What do you want? My first round, it wasn't boring. Okay, I don't care. Okay. Anyways. It'd be like that. It do. It. <laughs> He doesn't. He never leaves me alone. He was like, he was like half the reason I had to leave so much. Bitch. <laughs> Stop. Oh, oh, oh my god. Now we can't. I'm him out. We gotta. We Honestly, gotta, my brother's the same. We gotta end the podcast. I, I'm just kidding. Um. Uh, <laughs> any any questions? Didn't you just drop the f bomb like three times already? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back. Code go. L M A O. I was thirsty. Mm -hmm. Um, any mo any questions, Togi? Wait, I have a question. Hmm. Oh shit! That, that, that's never. Oh yes. Fuck. Why the tables have turned? <laughs> it's just, it's yes. Never... Give us the question. Can she do that? <laughs> that, that never. That's never been done. Before. Yes. Yes. She. Can. Um. Uh. Like. Is your podcast, like, new? It... Fuck, how do I... We've been... We have been operating since... Now I have to, like, look on my YouTube it's channel. 1905. We've been... 1905. We've been going <laughs> on for, like, about nine months. We had a... We had a bit of a break a bit a while ago. Yeah. But we're now sort of coming back again. We're oh, back nice. and better than ever, We're, baby. We we are on Spotify, and we are on we are also on YouTube. Oh, oh yeah, check it out. Approaching Wait, the gum. season finale. You forgot to say the name of it. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell me, I'm gonna check it out. It's, also, um. It. Not okay. Oh wait, wait. Not, you, you can tell me first. You can tell me first. It's it's because we I only I only say it once in the in the show, but and when I do, I have to say it loud. It's it's. You know what? I'll say it quietly this time. No one wants to hear me yell. Oh. It's it's art house rocks the world. That's it. What? What was All it? Right. It's art house rocks the world. There you go. There we go. Shut the fuck! I hate you guys. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh my god! It look it's so cute. I love like the YouTube. Yes. If you see how we're chibis, you'll have to make a chibi now too. <laughs> oh, really? If you want. Mm -hmm. All right. You baited her in. We baited her in. I can tell you some of our lovable titles. Our, our lovable <laughs> YouTube titles. Uh huh. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, they're pretty fun. Guys, come on. We're almost at our season finale. It's. So far, we have. Amino is cringe, and so is YouTube. We have China Hates Lovable. Anime and Ketsukira. We have episode 3. I mess up the episode today with Prick. Art Block Love and Furries. Internet Bionicle Safety 101 with Attired Adults. Ranking Erotic Disney Properties with Incest. <laughs> How to Do Comedy and Ruin an Interview. Mark Crilly. Get on our fucking podcast, or I swear to God. Weep Tunes is weird, but simple. <laughs> the cast <laughs> are our best one ever. The cast become women. Kogo, PTSD. And Queen Slays, Yas. They're all, like, very cancelable freaking titles. <laughs> Like our, return, our, our returning our returning episode was like the last one we just did I think was we're back but artists are dying and animators are rising oh they'll rise and they'll kill us all mm -hmm. we gotta stop them now 
<laughs> we attack at night time. Wait, aren't animators technically artists? <laughs> no, uh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like the same thing. <laughs> well, not really. Because I used to animate. It's like it's pretty different. Traitor. It's the same difference. I guess. It's the same difference. Like, like drawing, it's like drawing. And then animation, you just draw a lot. Like Yeah, you just draw more. I like, <laughs> draw of, more. I like to think of comics as just storyboards for animations. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, if you put it that way, yeah, I guess. Isn't that crazy? That's so crazy. Oh. There you go. What are you playing did, with did, now? Did, Is that a chain? Laser. Did you rob a freaking Fisher Price? No, those are lasers. <laughs> <laughs> They're lasers. I thought they were baby keychains. They're lasers. I, I thought so too. You guys, I said chain other, too. Oh, other artists on the podcast before, right? Of course. Oh yes. yes. This is like our did any yes. Did anyone else make a webtoon too? I want to check it out. The, yes. A, oh like, yes. A, like a, a good amount. Yeah, like each mm -hmm. one um, that we do interview, um, we say like they're plugging in. They're they're either a artist or and or a webcomic artist. Yeah. But nice. A, but now, but now I have to like count them all. One, two. Fuck, who, who do we interview for this one? Fuck off. I do know one comes to mind, it's Sorry Spooks. Yes, it's, 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 she was three, four... Which, by the way, I have to own up and say sorry officially to Sorry Spooks. Nani? Nani. Oh, I know I them. I promised. <gasps> yes. Oh, you know oh, them, nice. Ah, shoot. Yes. I'm in a Halloween collab too. with them right now. That's so weird. Oh, oh that's hell freaking yeah. dope. That's bizarre. Look at that, that crossover. Yes. yes. I owe them a comic. You owe, you owe so, a comic? Yes. Because well, I promised comic and, and deliver. Well, so you, I'm making a comic tonight. You know what? If if Sari doesn't... If Sari has a problem with it... I owe her a comic cover if, pensive face. If Sari has a problem with it, she can w watch this and comment something about it. But I don't see her doing that, so I'm calling her out right now. Bro. Oh, is this happening live? Ooh, it's all live too. She comes right <laughs> through that door and punches me in the face. Or she's like, "I'm right here, going what now? What now?" <laughs> I'd say two, three, four, five. Are you still counting? I, like at least five of the interviews we've done, they have web comics. Yeah. Oh yeah, didn't I? Wasn't Prick also doing comics? Yeah, I, I would have yeah. counted him too. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've answered your question, Sandy. They're speechless. Yes. This is Lou the time Sandy. where we say... <laughs> no, it's not the part Goodbye, of the... Goodbye, Sandy. Sandy isn't gone forever. Any, any more questions? You know what? Fuck... <laughs> Any more questions? Togo, do you have a question? Um, um. My question is... Yeah. Any tips for aspiring comic makers? You! You bit! That's my thing! I asked that question! To, it's so long. I'm gonna have to go soon, so I'll keep the answer short. No, no, I'll say this. Any tips for making co for aspiring comic makers out there? Yeah. Okay. Um, this this one is personal, like from experience. Like, if you ever feel like starting over, or like because you just feel like it's not good enough, and you feel like like your comic sucks, just remember like why you made it, and just like keep going with the flow and maybe someday just keep doing what makes you happy but if it really doesn't make you happy and you dread doing it then of course it's okay to start over or restart but if you're doing it because you have doubts because of other people 
then just keep going go with the flow you can always go back and fix like, mistakes as long as you just keep moving forward because if you keep restarting like i made so many comics in the past that i restarted and it just got really repetitive and it never got me anywhere so and i've had like a lot of like thoughts about like deleting cafe classroom and just starting over but i was like i want to keep going and i want to see how far i can go and i really enjoy making it so yeah nice That's very nice. good advice kogo ah all right i gotta go now guys okay no no before you all right we got all right thank you for joining yeah. say good night to thank those you for joining us. sandy thank you good night everybody good night guys good night, good night vietnam the podcast it was very yeah. nice having you. I know it was very right. bizarre to spring this on you. All right, bye. <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Night.